while an Afghan investigation finds that civilians have been killed in a U.S. airstrike in eastern Afghanistan last Saturday. Now, the investigation has raised the civilian death toll from 11 to 17. It says a dozen children, four women, and an innocent man were killed in the airstrike in Shingal town of eastern Kunar province. While the inquiry says the airstrike took place after Afghan intelligence agents came under attack by militants during an operation to arrest two militant commanders. It says an American civilian advisor also died in the fighting. Civilian casualties at the hands of foreign forces have long been a source of friction between Kabul and Washington. Such casualties have also led to mounting public anger against the presence of foreign forces in Afghanistan. Well, switching to San Francisco, joined by member of the Answer Coalition, Mr. Richard Becker. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, well, unfortunately, oft, we've often uh, heard these type of stories that more civilians have been killed uh, in Afghanistan. This one particularly gruesome, saying that uh, at least uh, 11 of those killed were children for women. Uh, Richard, what does it take in order to stop this from reoccurring time and time again in Afghanistan? Well, what it takes is the end to the occupation of Afghanistan, uh, which has now been going on for uh, 11 and a half years. The, uh, the toll among the Afghan people has been truly horrific. And it continues to be, as this latest incident shows. Overwhelmingly, the victims of airstrikes, of drone strikes in Afghanistan and in, and in Pac neighboring Pakistan are uh, civilians, uh, women, children, men, uh, and the uh, attempts by the U.S. government to cover up the real death toll among civilians is ongoing, uh, but it's uh, something that is not deceiving at all to the, uh, to the people there, to Afghanistan and Pakistan, who have to live under the daily threat of uh, drone attacks or, uh, or other airstrikes and who really have uh, suffered indescribably from the occupation and it will not end until the occupation itself comes to an end. Well, Richard, do you think, you, you talked about that the people on the ground, obviously, in Afghanistan, they definitely understand uh, the, the horrors of this situation. Uh, switching locations, what about the average American? Do you think that they understand uh, exactly what is happening, especially the number of civilians, innocent civilians, that have been killed from the beginning of this occupation until today? Well, the government here has waged, uh, with the collaboration of the corporate mainstream media, uh, a relentless campaign uh, to hide the reality of what is going on, what the drone strikes mean, what the airstrikes mean, what the occupation means, to uh, disguise that so that the people in the United States do not understand it. Today, uh, <clears throat> and just uh, is actually underway already in Washington, D.C., uh, but across the country today, there are demonstrations calling for an end to the drone wars, an end to the occupations in many cities. And it's going to take the efforts of the anti-war movement, the peace movement, the people's movement, uh, and using every uh, vehicle that we have to get the word out to people here about the reality of what's happening and the fact that what the government is saying about, you know, only targeting, quote unquote, militants or high value targets and so forth, the language that they like to use, uh, th that that is nothing but propaganda and that the vast majority of people being killed, uh, perhaps as high as 98 percent in a recent NYU Stanford report on drone warfare, are, are really uh, completely innocent of anything. And the other two percent are also victims of an illegal form of warfare, the violation of the of the uh, sovereignty of Pakistan, Afghanistan, Yemen, Somalia, that goes on a regular basis in which the U.S. government claims to have the right to do. They All right. don't. All right. Well, thank you so much for being with us, Richard Becker, out of San Francisco from the Answer Coalition.